Yo, what's up, everyone? I'm Jackie YBT, tech away, tech everything. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the Cooler Master CK351 optical mechanical gaming keyboard, full size keyboard. The variant that I choose is the optical brown. You can buy the optical blue or even the optical red. So, brown, blue, red three different optical switches that you can choose. Like I said, it's a full-size keyboard. It comes with the numpad and etc. arrow key, everything. It's RGB, MSRP price, 279 ringgit, which includes the wrist pad, keyboard itself, menu guide, and keycaps puller. That's all you got in the box. Without further ado, let's get straight into the review. First thing first, let's talk about the design. I have to say, I love this design. As you can see, Cooler Master is going Going for that minimalist and industrial design by using a brush aluminium on the surface. It helps with the structure rigidity. Feels really good, smooth. You know, is there's lines over there. You can see that there's brush line. Yeah, it looks cool. It's the same design as the CK350 floating keycaps. This kind of design is nothing special. However, it works. That's why so many keyboard manufacturers using the same design. But I think it looks good and also easier to clean up your keyboard because it's not sink into the body itself is floating compared to the tk350 is using like a darker gray and this is a pure silver color because the color is silver the rgb light bounces back much more brighter reflects much more obvious so let's talk about the build quality of this ck351 the only part where they use aluminium is the top plate and the rest of it are plastic the whole thing is pretty light compared to like a full aluminium keyboard this only weight at 904 grams it's not too heavy it feels hollow and empty if you know what i mean so let me demonstrate to you guys yeah you can feel that inside is not entirely solid block to compare to others fully aluminium build it will feel much more dense and heavier however don't get me wrong this is still pretty sturdy it's not like this is a, a paper or something when you touch it, it everything is just break apart no it's just not as sturdy as those yeah premium one when you want to twist it you can see it's very hard to twist it the build quality is i would say is fine for this price range top is silver bottom at the back is all black mostly matte black and a bit of piano black as a decoration just to show off uh, it's a figure print magnet when it comes to piano black you also get like four teflon feet and two kickstands there's only one angle so there's no multiple angles for you to adjust. I hope that Cooler Master can make it multiple angles for you to adjust uh, in the future model because I, I think it will fit more uh, situation. But it's not too bad. The kickstand, it works and that's it. Jobs. Uh, when it comes to the cable routing, it's pretty simple. There's one whole bracket for you to adjust your cable a bit of cable management let's say you do don't want the cable to come out from the in the middle you want to go route to the left you can do it like this okay yeah this is how you do it nothing fancy it's functional the cable is a typical cheap rubber cable there's no special treatment on the cable. It's not braided, it's, but it's thick enough. I don't think that it will break easily. And it is not a detachable cable. So when you want to pack it and travel, it will be slightly harder compared to detachable cable where you can unplug it and keep it aside. It's quite common when it comes to this price range. Yeah, you're not gonna get detachable cable. So to power this CK351, it uses a single USB 2.0 port. Just plug in. Basically, it's just plug and play. There's no driver to install. Once you plug it, your PC or your laptop will recognize immediately. And you can start using. It's also space saving. Even though this is a full size keyboard with the numpad, the arrow keys, everything, you, you get everything 
full size keyboard is the way to go when it comes to functionality because of its floating cap design and minimalistic they trim out the frame the outer frame so it make it smaller if you still remember back in those days all the office keyboard you know how big it is you know because of the frame and also the the design itself this is i i don't think is a huge keyboard for the measurement the length from this side to this side is 440 millimeters the width is 140 millimeters and the height is 45 millimeters this feature i would say is the biggest features on this ck351 optical mechanical keyboard and it's not something that i will use every day but it's a really crucial feature which is hot swappable switches if you are a keyboard enthusiast you will know what that means okay but if you're not let me explain basically you can switch the switches out you know pun intended if there's something wrong with the switches or you just want to customize to your liking yeah you can do that just plug out the keycap and then take out the uh, switches okay this will prolong the lifespan of your keyboard yeah if anything goes wrong with the switches you can change it like i said earlier so you can use this as long as you want as long as the the pcb on this keyboard is fine then technically you can use this keyboard forever i think this is one of the, the best features if not the best features on this keyboard with this price range it's awesome also i forgot to mention that hot swappable makes your life easier and save you tons of time man because it doesn't require any soldering which means no accidental burns and no messing with motor wires on your keyboard just take out the switches and put it back the switches that you want and done that's it no any fussy stuff so let me show you how to change the switches okay this is the keycap cooler that cooler master give you right out of the box and i have tons of uh, switches uh, unfortunately cooler master they didn't give you the switch cooler which is it's a shame with this thing you can pull out the switches much easier and you don't have you only have the keycap cooler yeah so what you do is use this and then pull out the keycap okay so as you can see this is the switch uh, optical brown so i managed to pull out the switches very hard to do that and in the process of removing this key switch i scratch up quite a bit you know on the side look at that you can see the mark there on the key switch yeah because uh, i'm no experts on this kind of stuff but you can see that yeah this is the uh, what's the pcb inside three connector connected yeah so i'm not sure this kind of uh, key caps was can use it with this i don't think this will fit like because there's two sharp pin so now i'm gonna put it back yeah just push it back and done so after I did my research, this is the typical traditional mechanical key switches. They both are uh, mechanical, but this is optical. So the structure is different. Hence, I cannot use this. If you want to hot swap switches on this keyboard, you need to buy optical switches to, to change it instead of this mechanical switches, traditional one. Yeah, because mechanical switches got three, even five pins and the optical one on uh, there's none just one knob here so that's the differences between the optical and mechanical switches make sure you buy the right switches okay buy optical switches for this ck351 in terms of the keycaps these are abs double injection keycaps i mean they are not the best but it's all right if you want to change the keycaps you just use the keycap puller and change it anytime you want i've been thinking changing the keycaps to you know those type of pulling keycaps they look pretty sick yeah, another thing about the keycaps you can say i'm nitpicking but i just want to show you guys if you look closer to this uh, letter p the top part of the p there's a dark spot where the light cannot shine through 
Same goes to the letter O. So not just the letter O and P got the black spot issues. Some other keys also facing the same issues. If you look close enough, it's not big of a deal. Although I make it sounds like big of a deal. It, it doesn't affect the performance. It's just the details aesthetic problems because for people like me a bit of OCD it feels like uh, come on Cooler Master you can make it better they can take it easily you know if they take the time and look through the, the things but I just let you guys know if you care about this kind of stuff as always you can change the keycaps to any keycaps you want that will fix this problem yeah okay the wrist pad Nothing much to talk about the wrist pad because it is what it is, normal wrist pad from Cooler Master right out of the box together with the keyboard. The value is there, you know, good value with the price, you get two stuff together and it's quite comfortable. It's not too soft until like when you place your hand and then the whole thing just sink in. Yeah, it's, it has enough stiffness to it. It also won't move around by itself because uh, on the bottom, uh, it has like a rubberized texture. So it prevents from uh, moving around. When I push it, yeah, will move that easily. Quite comfortable, tight wave because it level your hands together, same level as the keyboard. That's all I can say about the wrist pad. Speaking about the RGB light, have you guys noticed that even the status light is RGB? This is not something that you see every day because most of the RGB keyboard in the market, they use only white light. When it comes to stator light, I can see that Cooler Master made the effort to make it more seamlessly, everything more cohesive. Yeah, it's all RGB, even the status light. Everything is smooth, the transition of the RGB lighting is smooth, the color is bright. It is so satisfying to look at it, everything RGB. So if you just want to change the RGB lighting on this keyboard, you can just on the go using the function convos to change it whether it's the speed of the RGB light or the brightness or different RGB lighting mode however if you want to change the key mapping want to set up macros and profiles then you need to download the Cooler Master Master Plus software so let me demonstrate how to change the RGB lighting just press F10 and F5 to cycle through different RGB lighting mode so this is the crosshair, the reactive fade, stars, breathing, ripple, this is pretty cool, this is custom, rainbow wave, reactive punch, color cycle, circle spectrum, Fireball, Water Ripples, Heartbeat, yeah. Snowing, nice, and off. So you also can change the brightness by pressing Fn again and then F8. Yeah. We've got four different stages of brightness and also change the color. Yeah, RGB here. So you plus red or green. F2 to F4 key, red, green, and blue. This is how you change the color, so that's it. If you just want to change colors, speed, and brightness. Let's go to the software itself. Okay, so this is the software, pretty easy to navigate. If you have other Cooler Master peripherals or products that uh, support Cooler Master Plus, then you will see it here, okay? But now we're just gonna look at the keyboard lighting it's pretty easy to set up different lighting mode if you use the software. Just one click and that, that's it. You can change the LED speed, slow to fast, even the direction. Yeah. And for the key mapping, there's tons of options to do it. Uh, the sky is the limit. Every single key can be reassigned to other functions like W. You can change it to the letter C. Uh, I don't know why you want to do that, but you can. Uh, you also can uh, set up with different uh, macros or media keys, miscellaneous and etc. Yeah. And a green indicates available 
purple is already assigned, macros is blue, and red is disable key. You can disable key also. Yeah, so this is key mapping. And for the macros, uh, you can create your own macros and set up a different record actions and quick assignment macros, etc. For the profiles, you have four different profiles to set up. Yeah. If you don't want to do any of this uh, key mapping macros profile, then you can delete this software. You can use this keyboard without the software, no problem. Even with that being said, according to Cooler Master, to ensure optimal use of the product, please download the Master Plus software and update the latest firmware because this keyboard got firmware. So if this is your first time using this keyboard, it's recommended to download the software first and then you can delete if you don't want to use it anymore. So the Cooler Master CK351 switches, it is LK Dago switches. I did a look online, you know, trying to understand what is LK Dago switches. I didn't find a lot of information about these switches. It seems that the only company who use this LK Dago switches is Cooler Master. So my CK351 is using the optical brown switch. The feeling of this optical brown switch is so good, man. It's really tactile, it responds fast, very responsive, it's clean, it's not muddy as the previous CK350 which is using the Otemu mechanical switch, also brown switch. That feel muddy, feel heavy, even though this optical brown switch and that Otemu brown switch, the actuation force are the same, 55 grams, but this feels very tactile, clean, fast, responsive. It's so lightweight until sometime I accidentally press other key. The Optemu one is just terrible. After I started to use this, I don't feel like using the Optemu brown switch on the 350 anymore. This is much more superior. It's literally almost zero debounce time compared to the standard mechanical switch, which is 5 millisecond. This one is 0 0.2 millisecond. The actuation point is 1.8 millimeter compared to standard mechanical switch, which is two millimeters. And light span, uh, this is 100 million clicks compared to 50 millions on the CK350. This is true tactile feeling. Yeah, Otemu, that one is just trash. Yeah, it's trash. With the debounce time of nearly zero, like I said earlier, 0 0.2 seconds, means that there's no dead space in switch input and no inputs that goes unregistered. Yeah, so it's awesome, optical all the way. So this is how the switch send the signal. In optical switch, once you press it, the signal sends straight away back to the computer, you see? Because of the, the way uh, it structure, there's a sensor over here, once you press, register immediately compared to your typical standard mechanical switch there's a debounce delay in between the key press so once you press uh, the signal is like all the way man it's like everywhere up and down then finally we receive the signal because of the structural differences um, which makes the, the optical switches more responsive than your typical mechanical switch. Now it's for the typing sound test. Cooler Master also claimed that this keyboard CK351 is water resistant with the IP rating of IP58. So right now I'm gonna test it out whether this claim is true or not. You know, accident always happen, man. Let's say you're drinking water and then, oh my goodness, 
Oh shit. So now the keyboard is in contact with the water. So far, I don't hear any static noise. There's no short circuit whatsoever. Okay, I'm gonna show you whether it's working or not, or it is broken. Yeah, it is still working fine. It can register my input. Yeah, so everything works fine. It's indeed water resistant. Yeah, no problem. So in conclusion, I would say that you get a lot of value out of this keyboard within this price tag, 279 ringgit. You are getting a full-size keyboard, RGB lighting, IP58 water and dust resistant rating, pretty good optical mechanical switches. I really like how the switches feel, travel, the feedback. It also looks good. The design is pretty minimalist looks well it also has software for you to customize the key mapping you know, modify some stuff and it is hot swappable so technically you can use this keyboard forever it, it is long lasting but as i always say that there's no perfect product there's so so a cons of, about this keyboard the build quality is just okay it's not the worst but it's not the best in the class even though yeah, the top surface are built uh, with the brushed aluminium plate. Overall, the whole build structure is still made out of plastic. It feels hollow inside structure. The keycaps is just okay. I'm glad that Cooler Master is using double ABS, but it's, it's not high-end material. You know, there are better choices when it comes to the keycaps. Overall, I would say pros more than cons. And I will recommend you guys to go for it as your first mechanical keyboard. If you want a really good premium product, then this is not for you. But if you just want to try it out, never tried a mechanical keyboard before, I would suggest you to go and get this. That's about it guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to give a thumbs up, subscribe and click the bell icon. Leave your comment down in the comment section below. What do you think about this keyboard? Share it to your friends and family. Donate if you can or just watch all my videos. And I will see you in the next video guys. Goodbye.